back to www.metvstick.com. Probably noticed that I've changed the camera. Hopefully this will appear better than in my old camera and uh, hopefully the sound quality is also better. What I want to show you today is how you can use MK02 with a Linux distribution. I've got the HDMI uh, plugged in here. Uh, so this will this end will go to the TV. I've got the USB over here, which is plugged to a keyboard. Got a regular keyboard here. So on this other side, I've got a mouse. The set gig card is currently loaded with a Linux distribution that I downloaded. I can show you the link to where you can get the distribution on my website. The slot for this is actually quite nice. Slot it right in here. It's kind of a nice click. You just press it down again then you can see it just easily sorts out. It's great. This is a uh, adapter that came with the MK808. So the MK802 uh, didn't actually come with a power adapter because you can actually power this from the USB straight from the TV. Um, but what I have found is that when you're running certain peripherals, um, the MK802 can get a little uh, unstable if you don't have separate powers. This adapter has an output of 5 volts and 1 amp that just gives it a little boost whereas the TV power only gives it that 500 milliamps. I also have a cable which um, uh, normal USB to USB micro. So I just plugged the power into the MK802. The Linux distribution should now be booting up. This distribution has actually come from Miniand. I'm just going to type the username. You can see it logs in. And this is actually a 1080p resolution so it's pretty high res this is fine just click on links it just works like chrome however i have found that one of my biggest complaints actually about this whole thing is that i can't uh, get flash to work on it the pages kind of display properly but they're just very slow so and i'm on a pretty fast internet connection here so it should just snap up straight away okay eventually the pages come up and to me, they look like they're displaying properly as well. It's just a shame that it's so slow. Scrolling as well, I just moved the mouse wheel. There's no, no reaction. It just loaded Amazon up. And uh, actually this loaded pretty quick actually. Compared to the Android version and also compared to browse on a, a normal laptop, I guess, it's pretty slow to be honest. I think it's just a little bit underpowered. This is eBay. eBay seems to work fine. So Gmail works fine. Got my Google Drive, and I don't know if you guys use this, but I kind of like to use my Google Drive for saving documents. And I've tried to open this document, that, that's loaded fine, but it did take quite a while to load up. So Facebook seems to load fine. Okay, so eventually you get to my normal Facebook page, which is great. I eventually managed to log into StumbleUpon. Let's just try stumbling. It's pretty slow, pretty laggy. So I've also tried to install Firefox. And uh, as you can see from this uh, this image, um, it can't play Flash videos either. Ganache here. So this is what I've installed to get the Flash working, but it is pretty slow, like I said. It's a good attempt, but it doesn't quite work that well. It's really jerky. As you can see, I mean, let me, I'll just zoom you in so you can see this, but... So this is this is how jerky that video is, and you know you can check out that video on the site just to see how how it really runs. In but anyway, I, I just want to highlight that because that's a big drawback of using Linux on the MK02. When I didn't even have Ganache installed, none of the Flash videos would work. I'm sure, how interested you guys would be, but you got a full on Linux distribution here, so you can get root to it, um, see what's available, all, all that kind of stuff. So it, it's a proper distribution. I think it's great that the Rico Magic MK02 is Linux compatible and all winner who provide the system on chip used in MK022 made their source code open source. I also think that Linux distros like Ubuntu offer a much better OS experience than Android when you're using keyboard and mouse and you lose all that weirdness that comes with Android uh, which is still predominantly designed for touch. I was saying that Adobe don't support Flash on Linux running on ARM chips right now and the alternative I found was not good enough to even watch YouTube. The general feel of Linux on the MK02 2 is still very sluggish. I, I think it's not really ready for general entertainment usage right now but it's probably great if you have some pet projects where Linux gives you that kind of flexibility that you require. So please visit the website at www.minitvstick.com and uh, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.